As a watch collector, I feel privileged to do these weekly videos because I get to see and appreciate so many different watches, and this one today is no exception. This is a Vacheron Constantin Cadelio in rose gold. This is the first time that I get to see and handle this beauty, and today I'm going to explore the details of this sporty luxury timepiece. If you like our weekly videos, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and for more information on this timepiece, click on the link below. Besides the impressive technical dial, this bathroom to me has one of the most beautiful cases. This has a very elaborate case construction consisting of multiple layers, plus elegant finishing that highlights the details of this phenomenal design. This model was first introduced in 2008 and it was designed to be a customizable watch, featuring a dial that will be very difficult to copy by counterfeiters. Now, this is a 42mm case, so it's a big timepiece, but the lugs are so short that the actual length of the timepiece from lug to lug is only 50.2mm, and this is how it looks on my 7.5 inch wrist. It has a big presence, but it doesn't extend past the edge of my wrist, and this timepiece does have some weight to it, due to all the gold material. I like it. <laughs> When looking at it, I really like how the bezel and lugs stand out thanks to the high polished finish. The rest of the case has a satin finish with polished edges, which looks incredible. While doing my research on this model, I seen this model with leather straps, but I think that this brown rubber strap looks way better and gives the timepiece a more sporty look. The rubber strap is flexible and comes paired with a Bacheron double folding clasp crafted from 18 karat rose gold with a high polish finish. This is a very nice combination. And as you can see, this strap is attached by screws and bars instead of spring bars, which is a much secure way to fix the strap to the case. Now under the sapphire crystal, we have a transparent dial that is as elaborate as the case. Although I personally think that overall it looks cool, I don't think it was really necessary for the brand to go so far with it. And I'm saying this because Bacheron used a film that has microprinting patterns and images that can only be seen under a special light, plus laser engraving with and without ink, and metallization to create the hour numerals and text. Most of these layers that create the dial were added not for aesthetic purposes, but more to make it difficult to copy. Again, I don't think it was really necessary. <laughs> Even though there's a lot going on with the dial, it is surprisingly easy to read, and the hands have been treated with Superluminova, so you can see the time in the dark. Now what I do appreciate about this dial design is the stationary date disc. There's a black panel under it that rotates to highlight the date. I think that was a pretty clever design. And since the dial is composed with multiple crystals, you can see a portion of the movement and look how well the finishing of the movement looks when the light hits it in certain angles. It's beautiful. And under the hood, this Bacheron is using caliber 2460QH. This is an automatic movement with Geneva Hallmark stamp, so you know that the finishing on this movement is amazing. The caliber is adjusted in 5 positions and works at 4 Hz using 27 joules. This in-house movement also features hacking seconds, quick set for the date, 43 hours of power reserve, and ceramic rotor bearings. This is a rare vash run with a sophisticated movement under the hood that is worth adding to your watch collection. For more information on this timepiece, please visit our website at blacktag.watch.